look at this place it is completely empty it's all for me <laughs> so yeah I'm going to a very special location no I'm not actually I'm going to Watford um, there's I've got some some free special amiibos waiting for me that's it free um, they're actually the same amiibo but three times and I'm not gonna tell you until I actually get to the store when I'm recording it in the store because I'm so hyped for what I managed to pick up today or I'm going to go pick up um, now because of the way that I'm actually doing this I'm gonna have to do that really really annoying way of editing you know just doing jump cuts all over the place so that's how this video is probably gonna end up looking uh, when I edit this together um, just to make the points a bit more precise and to the point rather than me mumbling like I am now so yeah so this morning uh, no okay so uh, what day is it now? It's Christmas Eve, and yeah, I'll have your side. So it's Christmas Eve, and I managed to buy, and I got paid, <laughs> which meant, oh, you know what that means? You know what that means? I'm just thinking to myself, you know what that means? Time to buy every single amiibo that I can get my hands on, so, to which I did. Uh, at the moment, I've got every single Wave One and Wave Two amiibo, with the exception of about five or so. So I've got all of them, but um, Kirby, Yoshi. Uh, and the two rare ones, which are Wii Fit Trainer and Marth. Now, I bought all of them I, on uh, one single day. I went to Argos, I went to Shop 2, I went to Game, and I went to Tesco's, and I ordered every single Amiibo from all those different stores. Um, and I'm not too sure, like, how... I'm going to see this side, actually. <sighs> the sun was in my face. So I ordered all of the Amiibos that I could, uh, and they all came pretty much in one day. So I, I went to, so for example, I went to Argos and I bought six amiibos there. I then ordered five more online from different online stores. Um, sorry about the sniffing. Uh, I ordered about five or so from six or so different stores. Uh, so that's good. Um, I'm pretty much, I mean, at that point I was almost complete. And then yesterday, the five that I ordered came the next day. So uh, I ordered them on the 20 seconds. I got. The 20, they arrived yesterday, the 23rd, and today took the 24th, Christmas Eve. I spent the entire morning talking on gaff uh, on the Amiibo discussion thread, like, oh, you know, I'm trying to look for a couple of these Amiibos, where do I find um, some? And I'm always refreshing Tesco's, I'm refreshing, I mean, Tesco's have them at the cheapest price, which is £10 each. Um, and I know which ones I need to be looking out for. Again, I, I ordered Captain Falcon yesterday. Um, he's going to be coming on January 5th, which is surprising because I actually start work that day, so I guess that coincides with a nice kind of go back to work present I guess um, so what the hell it's like Pringles can here someone's having a party on top of the bus and um, so yeah there's I've got Captain Falcon coming so I've now got four more amiibos left and that is um, you know Kirby Yoshi uh, Wii Fit Trainer and um, Marth now the cool thing is I actually managed somehow the day that I bought all of those amiibos uh, in person that was the 22nd I managed to buy all the amiibos I went onto the Argos website and they just so happened to have two villagers left so I ordered a villager for myself um, in terms of pricing uh, Asda's and Tesco's having for £10 each Shop2 having for £10.85 Argos having for £10.99 um, and um, game, unfortunately, game are the most expensive where they have them each for £14.99, so £15. So I'm actually heading to game right now to pick up one amiibo, one of the rare amiibos, but three times, and I'm not going to tell you which one because it's going to be amazing. This is probably the rarest one anyway, so I'm kind of spoiling it, but um, the cool thing is, is that, uh, like I said, I managed to get a villager amiibo out of the way. I know I've got one of the three holy trinities, which is villager. Well, would you look at the business outside of there? That place is getting real business. Okay, so um, I managed to get Villager out of the way, and um, so what happened was I ordered all the Amiibos I wanted, um, all the ones that was available to me. So what happened was this morning, um, so firstly actually, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get all the Amiibos for as cheap as possible. Um, I've bought all of them from different online places, um, like I said, Game, um, Shop2, Tesco's and all that crap. So I'm trying to get them for brand new prices rather than eBay prices. Uh, I've not gone into, I've not, I don't want to resort to eBay. So what I've been doing is I've been going to um, all the online stores, going to Argos and that, buying them. Um, for really good prices, about 10 to £11 each. I'm actually going to be breaking that rule today by buying an Amiibo from Game, which is £14.99, which is, you know, £15. Um, unfortunately, that's how much they cost in Game, but that's kind of the price that you kind of have to just suck up with at times when it comes to buying the Amiibos. If I, if I don't want to be paying Amiibo prices, the most I'm going to be spending is 15 per Amiibo um, at places like Game. Um, 
<laughs> so I'm kind of happy about what's happening today. I'm actually going to go get three of the same one rare amiibo. Uh, you can take a guess. I mean, if I've already got Villager, then it's only going to be Martha Wee for Trainer. I'm really excited about this. Um, so what happened was this morning was I've got my amiibos and I'm just really trying to finalise what I have left. I've got those f last four amiibos, which are Kirby, Yoshi, Wii Fit Trainer, and Moth. <coughs> and so Kirby and Yoshi, I'm gonna leave behind. They're they're very common. Uh, Kirby is actually quite rare in the Europe in Europe for some reason. Um, I've seen on uh, numerous threads uh, and forums and stuff that uh, Pit is quite hard to find in the US, but Kirby is fairly common as opposed to here in Europe or the UK. I can only speak for us in the UK. But um, Kirby is actually quite rare, and Pit's very, uh, very common, or fairly common, I should say. And so I'm, I'm Kirby. I've got Captain Falcon. He was one of the rare, uh, uncommon. He, I've got him out of the way. He's coming in on the fifth of January. Hopefully by Tesco's, if they do their shit um, and get their, you know, work processing like soon. Um, unfortunately, they can't deliver it for some reason after Christmas, but you know, whatever. If it's coming, it's coming. I'm not too fast as long as I've ordered Captain Falcon. Um, and Kirby will be the next one I order. Yoshi is a very common one, so I don't really care too much about him. Um, but We Fit Trainer and Marth are the ones that every single person around the entire world is looking for. And I'm quite fortunate in that I managed to get Villager yesterday from Argos on store, on their online store, and then get it for next day delivery. I'm really, really happy about that. So. Uh, yeah, so today I'm going to go get these ones, uh, these two rare ones, or well, one of the rare ones anyway. Um, so what happened this morning was, I was like, you know what, i just got four more left, I'll leave Yoshi, Kirby is one I need to try and uh, get as soon as possible, but again, it's not too, it's not a, a huge priority. My priority are the three, you know, the Holy Trinity that is Villager, Marth and Wii Fit Trainer, so I've got one, I've got two more left. And I spent all of this morning going to different online places, um, I also, oh, I actually don't have Little Mac either, he's a character that I'm, he's my main in Smash, but I haven't been able to uh, get him yet. So he is one I'm also on the lookout for. Um, but he's not my priority at the moment, it's really just getting the three really, really rare ones. And, okay, so what happened, well, okay, here's the story now. Uh, my, so what happened was I spent all of this morning trying to get um, uh, Wii Fit Trainer, so I went on to Toys R Us, this is my first time going to Toys R Us, on, Toys R Us online, and they actually had Wii Fit Trainer for collection only, in Stevenage, and I was like, oh shit, yes. Hell yes. So I ordered two Wii Fit Trainers, um, and then what they do is, is you put your order down, you give them your number and your name, and they'll call you back within the next 20 or so minutes, which they took half an hour, but oh, it's not like I was counting. Um, and they said, oh, well, sorry, there was an error of the listing, we can't actually give you the Wii Fit Trainer. So I've heard a lot of bullshit regarding, um, Wii F regarding Toys R Us sales and the way that they've handled the Amiibo. Uh, the amiibos, so I've this is kind of like that sign to me that you know, the first time they had Wii Fit Trainer in stock for collection, and they didn't even bother to get that stuff corrected. And you know, a bit of a waste of time because that's time I could have been ringing up a uh, game. I'll get to that in a sec. So, Toys R Us is they don't have Wii Fit Trainer, unfortunately. So, my next plan was to ring every game store that I can think of, um, which means. I mean, the thing is, I was forgot to mention as well, I was that dedicated to getting these, these Amiibos that I was willing to take a two-hour bus ride to Stevenage. Um, it's not that much, I mean, it, it's, I can get there fairly easy, it's just, it's just a single bus trip, but I'm willing to, you know, take a two-hour bus ride to Stevenage if it means getting one of the rare ones. Um, fortunately for me, uh, Watford's only about f uh, 40 or so minutes on a bus, and I'm actually almost there, about halfway, so... <laughs> um, yeah, so Wii Fit Trainer's out, unfortunately, and Toys R Us is probably a place I'm not going to go back to. When they do get the Amiibos in stock, then I'll, um, the next, uh, the Wave 3 Amiibos in stock, I'll probably try and go down there and get them, because they're actually quite cheap as well. Um, I think they're about uh, £10.50 for Toys R Us. Um, so that was the, my, my little, my little incident with Wii Fit Trainer and Toys R Us. They called me back saying there was an error of the listing, they didn't actually have any, it was too popular, so they already sold out. Um, Funnily enough, I went onto Tesco's and they had Little Mac in stock for five minutes. I mashed that mouse, that left click button so quick that I actually broke the mouse. And unfortunately, I just missed it. It said I had to add it to my basket, I went to the checkout, and then when I did manage to, um, you know, go to buy it now, it said, sorry, this one's out of stock. So unfortunately, I do not have Little Mac. Um, so then my last resort was to ring up game and it, even if it meant travelling down to central London, so I live in Greater London so it's just outside, I can, I can get to Lond uh, central London fairly easy, it's, nothing, it's not really much of a problem. And I was tempted to go down to where I work um, 
in London and go to a place where I know they actually had Little Mac in stock because I saw it, but I couldn't buy it at the time because I, you know, I, I didn't really, I shouldn't really have been spending the money at the time, so I didn't want to, you know, you've got to restrain yourself at some times. I really wanted Little Mac, and um, but I had to leave it for the time being. So I did manage to get through to them, but my story with game is... <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> it was uh, kind of strange. I had my uh, phone just about going crazy there. So anyway, my uh, story with game, I managed to ring up game, and I had a really shit customer service time with them. And I'm not the kind of person who likes to get angry at customer service or technical support. I mean, they're just doing their job, you know, I mean... Getting angry at them is something that I just, I really hate when people do that, or, or they try and be snarky with them. Um, so again, uh, I, I don't want to really sound spoiled or anything, or be a dick. I, I get, trust me, I was not a dick to customer support, but I did uh, express my uh, disappointment with the customer service, at least. So, um, what happened was, I rang up game the first time, and I said, can, I, can you put me through to Hammersmith? Because I know that that was a game that is quite local to where I work. Can I go to Hammersmith? Can I try and see what Amiibos they have in stock and unfortunately they didn't have any in stock so then I had to ring them up again because they then they then hung up and said okay well thank you for calling I was like uh, wait can you not so, so for some reason you cannot ring up games individual stores but instead you have to ring them up through customer service which means having to wait in line then you once you've waited in line they you have to hope that you randomly pick from a list of all the game stores in the entire UK that one you get just happens to have the required uh, item that you want. So for example, go for customer service, be number uh, 20 in line, wait for three minutes to get to number one, then they pick, pick up my call. Then I have to say, can you put me through to Hammersmith? Or, and then I have to go through the entire process again and try ask them to search for another game store. So the first time I rang them up, they said, sorry, Hammersmith didn't have any that I wanted. Uh, I listed the ones I wanted, they didn't have any. So the next time I rang them up, they actually hung up on me. So they said, okay, we'll put you through. They hung up on me. The next time they said, okay, well, we unfortunately don't have any available to search for some reason, whatever that meant. So they hung up on me again. I rang them up and then said, this is my fourth time calling. I'm sorry, but this is quite annoying. I really dislike how this has been handled and the lady on the other end was really nice about it again I'm not, I'm not going to shit talk people on the end they're just doing their job so they were she was fairly polite about it and I would say that you know it's kind of annoying so she then went and put me through to another game she checked and said that all the amiibos that I asked for they did not have so I had to ring them up and then she unfortunately put the phone down again I was like okay cool can I check and it was kind of this long process so I had to ring them up again and they hung up on me on my sixth time, which is the one that I got to at the moment, they managed to say that yes, this the game that you're going to, my local one, which is Watford, um, they have the amiibo that I want in stock. Um, so it's kind of like, imagine if game was history and... Imagine if game was Henry VIII from what I just talked about was history, or you know, where divorce beheaded lived, divorce beheaded... No, divorce beheaded died, divorce beheaded lived. It's like, oh, out of stock, hung up, sorry out of stock, hung up, yeah, we've got them, so it's like, you know, just some bullshit you have to go through. So here I am, on the sixth call, and I'm ex ex ridiculously excited, with the biggest shitty and grin on my face. They don't just have one of the ami rare amiibos in stock, they have the one, but four times. So this is where I'm going to now. Here I am heading to, uh, not Heathrow, the, uh, the airport, here I'm heading to Watford to pick up my amiibo three times. I ordered three of this amiibo, because what happened was they had four, <laughs> they have four apparently, as I was ordering, uh, or asking them to place an order for me, they only had three amiibos in stock, so one was gone by the time I'd ordered, and I said, can you please just, they managed to get one for me, so at that point I was like, you know what, that's fine, I've at least got one, but I asked them, can you quickly contact them again, and ask them to hold, reserve the other three for me, so I've got one for myself, one for a friend, and you know, one to sell on. Um, so I'm really happy about this, um, I'm actually going to be getting one of the rare amiibos, take your guess, before this video before you actually get to the point of this video where I actually pick them up uh, as to what amiibo I get. I'm gonna now end this part and hopefully when I get to game everyone will go according to plan and I'll get three of one of the rare amiibos. I guess we'll take a quick look at what's here. <laughs> Fox, Samus, Donkey Kong, uh, Pikachu, Pit, Donkey Kong, Samus. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna check to see if there's any defects with these. Nope. Nope. Is there any errors with these? Nope, they all look good. Donkey the Monarchy looks good. Pikachu, Donkey Kong. We've got, I mean, see, like Pit's Pit, you can still find them. Donkey Kong, they're quite common. Um, got Samus there again. Another fox. 
more Donkey Kongs. I mean, Donkey Kong is really popular here. Uh, Fox, Fox, all look good. Poke or choose. Uh, let's go. Let's go get my orders. Um, I ordered uh, three Amiibos under my name. Um, those under the name of Taz. <laughs> Some people, I swear, why do they just, it's like they, customers, they just see items on the floor. Yoshi's, Yoshi's and Peaches over there. The hype. John, run again. Uh, 113 cash. Um, so I was just wondering, do you have any of the officer stock, like Little Mac, or is it Johnny Lovers at all? Um, the map and the Okay. Okay, thank you. Cool. Let's just sit down for a bit, <laughs> and I'll show you <laughs> the immense, the amazing immenseness of Mar, of the Mar Amiibo. There's number one, and there's number two, and there's number three. So like, yeah. Oh man, Mar Amiibo. There's no errors with it though, <laughs> unfortunately. So it's it's in good condition. I don't want that. <laughs> I want that. I want. I have to see a Mar where he's got like two hands or something. Or the two swords like that one that was uh, that appeared online. Oh wow, that sword is terrible though. Look at that one. Oh. But yeah, there's all the moths. That's probably one I'll keep. <laughs> That's the one I'll probably get rid of and that one. Oh, that one can go back to health from whence it came. So I'm going to go back home and uh, show you, show them all a little bit more clearly than... I mean, I'm currently sitting in like an open area right now, but yeah, this is a... Uh, pretty uh, hype moment if I do say so myself. So um, something before I go actually, I thought I'd quickly just show you my current progress. <laughs> um, so here's here's all I have at the moment. Um, so I guess I'll start from the top. We've got the uh, Luigi, Peach, she has legs, uh, Pikachu, uh, Samus, mm, put that down. Um, Fox, uh, Link, Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong, uh, Pit, sorry about the lighting as well, i uh, got Pit, Villager, uh, Zelda, she's got a stick on the side, I'm in the process of peeling off, um, she's also a little bit torn, so I'm probably going to end up giving her away, uh, she was delivered in pretty shit condition, so I'm probably going to get rid of her, and Mario, which I've actually got over here by my Xbox One, uh, so Mario's the one that I'm using at the moment, so just like, stick it on there and, you know, use that for a couple of games, I'll end up buying another one, I'm actually going to be buying uh, another Mario to to have boxed, another Mario from different regions, so I can make a, I want to make a video showing the differences between each of the different Amiibos, so one from Japan, one from uh, the US, um, and I know that because places like New Zealand and Australia, they also use PAL, so they sh they may have different packaging to us, but just briefly, they've got, we have a different um, uh, packaging, so it will say, I mean Japan will obviously have Japanese, but um, PAL will have different languages. So I want to make a, a video uh, for different versions and what to look out for. I mean, the bottom of the Amiibo has got different code and stuff. So, yeah, that's just my collection so far. And over there, we, we've got the three Marfs. And here they all are, all three of the Marf Amiibos. I still cannot believe I've got three Marf Amiibos. It's, it's just amazing. Um, so uh, I've put them in order of what I think is the best to worst. And I'll tell you why uh, I've done it like this. Um, so let's get to the one that I want to keep for myself. Um, and that is this one here. So we've got best, second best, and then uh, crap. So I'm going to show you like why I've kind of put them in my own personal grading order um, that kind of way. So <clears throat> firstly, they're all uh, in good good condition. There's no uh, issues with the box. Um, they're, they're not dented, they're not scratched, they're not slightly torn and open, they're, they're, they're all in perfect condition, the boxes are great. Uh, this one here is a little bit crap, I'll tell you, I'll show you shortly afterwards. Um, but this one here is the one that I want to keep for myself. 
Um, so you can just quickly up close see here, it's like there's no dented on the packaging. Uh, the cardboard itself is in nice flat condition, there's no bends or anything. Um, and the uh, string crap as well, it's like all perfect. So uh, this is the moth that I'm going to keep, but um, there's a couple of problems uh, regarding the quality. Um, and funnily enough, it's surprisingly, despite the fact that Marth, oh, just dropped it. Funnily enough, despite the fact that Marth is the one that everybody wants and has, it's got some level of value to it. It's probably double the price. I wouldn't I'd try not to pay that much for it, but it's uh, going around for double the price, along with Refit Train and Villager. Um, it's actually the worst amiibo I think in terms of quality. Um, it honestly looks like complete shit. <laughs> like no hyperbole. It actually looks very shit. Uh, the painting is terrible, the the way that Marth is standing looks terrible, the way that the sword, I mean, you can see there, the sword's not even put in, if it's not, uh, if it's not straight, it's out, it's missing out of the, uh, the, um, like, uh, sword holding area, I don't know what you want to call that, the mould, um, it's bent, this one's also bent and it's also missing, it's, Marth is such a terrible amiibo, um, it, I mean, it even gets, it gets, gets a lot worse, so I'm just gonna edit this bit here. So to go back again to much more a closer attention to detail, Marth just looks terrible. It's like there's no like the level of <clears throat> sorry the level of detail is just missing. Marth just looks really plain and bland. Um, the painting is pretty bad. I mean it's just melding from his hand into the sword. Like I said, the sword is straight, but it's not inside of the um, the uh, molding. Uh, the thing about the Marth that I want to keep actually is that this one here actually has a nice clean white finish to his boots um, as opposed to this one which has this weird like you can see there it's got blue um, that uh, seems to have carried over into the white bit so that looks like a mess um, this also looks again it's they're all the same they all look really terrible Marth just his face just looks really awkward um, same kind of coloring again like just unfinished um, so that's the one I want to keep. Uh, his hat, his arm looks a little bit straighter on this one. Maybe, maybe I'm seeing things, but on this Marth here, his arm looks a little bit straighter as opposed to this one. It looks a little bit more bent, um, which is probably why the sword's stuck out. I mean, I, I don't even know what to do with this. I can't try shake it, trying to put it back in the thing. No. Um, this Marth here as well is slightly leaning out more out towards the uh, from the mold that he's supposed to be standing in. So it looks to me like he's actually wonky. So. You can see that he's leaning forward. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't have his back towards the mold, which is a shame. As opposed to this one here, where Marth is a little bit more straight. I mean, he's still bent forward, but it's a little bit more straight. And then the final one, he's like really far bent forward. It's it, the Marth quality is so bad. It's really disappointing because again, this is the one. This is one of the three that everybody is really looking for, and just I think Nintendo really fucked up on uh, Marth in general. Um, this is one of the Amiibos I remember noticing that it looked really awesome, and then when they did the whole shift over to uh, Fisher Price kind of, not even Fisher Price, like some cheap looking crap, that the quality of Marth just really dipped. It took it's probably the one that took the biggest hit, uh, I think personally. Um, but again, I'm happy I've got the Amiibos. I'm not trying to bitch too much, but I'm not gonna lie, the quality is pretty bad on them. Uh, I'm I'm disappointing with the way Marth turned out. But again, enough negativity. I'm still happy I've got Marth. Uh, this is again. This is the one I'm going to keep. Unfortunately, he's got this bit missing out here. Maybe I can stick this on eBay for a thousand pounds because I don't know. The sword is out of the placement. I don't know. And you know, you've got bent sword here and bent sword that's not even inside it. It's again. I, it's. I'm trying not to be negative, but it's hard to just. I I, I can't not notice the stupidity of the way Marth is. Um, but yeah, I'm still happy I've got one. Uh, one I'm going to keep, one I'm going to probably trade with, um, see if I can trade, and then one I'm going to give to a friend. Um, the reason why I actually put this one last is actually is because the moulding here, it, you probably can't quite see it, but um, it's actually rigid, so it's not a nice clean cut. It, again, it's another just cut corner in terms of production. It looks really rushed, as opposed to uh, my one, which has this nice clean finish on it. Um, and, you know, just to go back again, Marth, Marth has this really horrible, like, I don't know what this is, but it's just really rushed half our stuff. Again, enough negativity, I'm still happy I've got them. I've got three Marth Amiibos, how cool is that? <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, I'm definitely going to be doing more of these. Um, Amiibo look-throughs, I'm going to be hunting a couple more, I've only got a couple more left. 
um, four or so. Uh, I'm really I'm really looking for Little Mac now and Wii Fit Trainer. So those will be next on my list. The next ones I'm going to be hunting for. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and Merry Christmas.